Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate you clicking on the video. So I have, it's late to the game, you guys. I have been so busy this week. And to be honest, I get really, um, I get really overwhelmed when it comes to being around people. Um, like I just, all I just, their energy and all of that. Like I need a moment to recoup. I've always been that way. Um, I'm really happy inside my home, super like in my, in my own environment. And, um, yeah. So when I have a lot of social things going on, like I am, I had, I, I got to tap out sometimes. And this week was that week for me. So, um, yesterday was my day off, was a day off and, um, I literally was, I was wiped. I took a couple naps. One of them was like two and a half hours long. It just, you guys, long story short, I have stuff here that I needed to, I need to haul and I needed to, you know, up video and edit. And I had absolutely no energy yesterday. Today, much better. Got things done. Um, got my workout in, my hair, touched up, colored my hair, makeup on. Now it's time for the fun stuff. So I got Scentsy. I got the Scentsy, the, um, the scent of the season in here. I know I'm late to the game. I know other people have uploaded and already done warm reviews, but doesn't matter. I'm doing it anyways. So that is is when I'm going to take a sniffer -roo. If you want to know my opinion, keep on watching. Y'all know the dealio. First things first, what am I drinking? I'm having some a rosé champagne. This is from the winery that I work at. It's called Rosetta. Rosetta Champagne. Um, you can order this. You can go to the, the Wooden Valley Winery website and you can order some rosé champagne. Um, it's really easy. It's not, um, it's not sweet. It's not dry. It's right down the middle. Really just easy. One of my favorites. Drink it all the time. What am I wearing? You ask? Well, let me tell you. This is Girl of Girl of Now Shine from Ellie Saab. I don't know if you can see that. It's like reflective. So Girl of Now Shine from Ellie Saab. As you can tell, I really, I, I wear a lot of it. Um, this one, the notes are, your top notes are pineapple, pistachio, pear, and mandarin orange. Your mid notes are bitter almond, orange blossom, um, jasmine, and ylang ylang. And then your base notes are vanilla, iris, and patchouli. You guys, this one is so nice. I am picking up the nuttiness of the almond and the pistachio. There is a sweetness, that pineapple, but it's not a scratchy pineapple. Y'all know I don't like scratchy fruits. Um, and also I don't like it in my perfume. So the orange blossom's really nice. The jasmine and the ylang ylang. So the ylang ylang can kind of have a, almost a banana, a vanilla banana vibe. So that helps kind of um, bring, bring it to a creaminess. Um, same with the iris. The patchouli is not a dirty patchouli. I hardly smell it in here. I just, this is so nice. This is a lot. This is a lot of fun. Super, super pretty. So that's what I am wearing. That's what I am sipping on. Are y'all ready? So I got two of these because I knew... My mom and my daughter were going to want to try some. And I just wanted to make sure 
that if there was something I really, really wanted, I had doubled of right away. Because there's a couple cents in here that I knew. Um, I knew I was going to have to. Um, okay, I can already smell it. Ooh, I can already smell it. Okay, so this is Scent of the Season Collection, you guys. Look how cute that box is. Super cute. Makes a great gift, honestly. Um, actually, now that I think about it. Well, I don't know if she has a warmer or not. I'll have to ask. Anyways. Um, first things first, let's get in here. So your first note, your first notes. Hold on. I'm going to slow down. I think that's been my problem lately is I'm going way too fast. I'm trying to get so much done. I'm not like enjoying in the moment. So I'm going to enjoy it in the moment. There's no rush. I got nowhere to go. No one's coming over. My house is clean. The things are done. Let's just sit and talk. Let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the first one that I am most nervous about, and that is Peppermint Rush. I love packaging though. That is super cute. So Peppermint Rush, you guys, is Peppermint, Vanilla, and Fallen Snow. Mm -mm. I I like my mint. You guys know that. Oof. But you guys know the mint has to be in the back seat with its mouth shut or in the trunk. I know it's there. I might be able to hear it a little bit because it's in the trunk. But it's not taking over and I I mean I knew that that's what this was going to be this is definitely this is definitely for a mint lover Woo! peppermint bubble gum is what I'm getting peppermint gum I don't get anything else I don't know what they mean by the fallen snow the vanilla slightly but um, this is absolutely this is an absolute no for me not because it's bad, but because peppermint as the main note, as the main star of the show is not my favorite thing. This is sweet. This is pepperminty. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I'm not getting like nose clearing peppermint, but like candy cane buttercream, I, I enjoy that. Because it's it's with a bakery and it's with a buttery heaviness that kind of tones down that peppermint. So I get it. Don't get me wrong. When peppermint monkas come around, hmm, I'm first in line. I love it. It's just for some reason in my home fragrance or in my perfumes, I just don't like it. Yeah, I just... And I would have to blend this with something. And I already have wax from other places that have peppermint in the notes but not as the main note so I don't have to go around searching what am I going to blend with this yeah I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not next one is frosted white pine this is freaking adorable look at that oh my gosh I love that this one is Pine Needles, Crisp Greens, and Winter Air. Also, I love a tree note, but I like it with bakery. I like it tobacco. Um, I like it with like a smoked vanilla. But just plain tree note? No. Absolutely picking up on the tree. The pine needles, it's nice. It's a tree note. I don't need a plain tree note because I have plenty. 
and I prefer tree notes that have other things with it. So like the black forest pine, I enjoy that because it's got the, um, it's got the pepper tangerine. Oh my gosh. What else does it have with it? Um, gosh, did, dang it. I don't remember what else was with it, but I like that one. This is nice. It's pine. It's green. It's a tree note. I wouldn't want to burn this by itself. I would once again have to have to melt it with something. And sometimes I don't want to do that. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean, I could force my, not force myself. I mean, I could try the peppermint rush and the frosted pine. It's very, it, that one's got a very Christmassy vibe, smelling them both together. But, um, I don't know. Like, I don't want to have to force myself to blend something to, I don't know, you guys. I think for me, I don't mind blending stuff. I don't mind going, oh, this would work with that. Um, but if I'm, because I think it would be like a lot of fun together. For instance, I did a pumpkin pecan waffle, which I already love. I'll melt it on its own. Um, but then I, there was also a, like a churro cake. And I was like, that sounds fantastic together. I know I'm going to enjoy both those scents, but I don't like having to, I, I don't want to have to blend something that I not blend something. I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm going to even like with something else. I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm going to. You, do, does that make any sense? Like, I just don't want to have to blend them to like them. Um, if it's already done for me, fine. Hence peppermint buttercream, hence Christmas trees and cookies. Cool. It's already done for me. I just don't want to go around my house going, Oh, I don't like this. What am I going to blend it with? So I can even melt it and burn it. I just don't want to do that. Um, I feel like it's a waste of my time, of my money, um, so I'm not going to gravitate towards that. I don't know if that makes any sense, you guys, but that's just my thoughts. Um, next one, we're going to do, let's do Homestead Holiday. Super cute packaging again. Love that. So Homestead Holiday is blood orange, cinnamon, and fur needle. This one's really nice. I am enjoying orange. I'm enjoying spiced orange. And then you're blending it with um, some spice, the cinnamon, and then some tree notes. Absolutely. That I can do. If I can even get it out of here. Oh, okay. This is really nice. This is spicy. Spicy orange with that fur needle. Actually, this would, in my opinion, so the um, the Christmas tree ones that we had that we just got in the bricks, you guys. The um, the orange tea is that what it's called? Orange spice tea or something like that. I'm not getting tea, and I'm not really getting a whole lot of spice. It is very orangey to me, and I uh, question almost if that is appropriate for fall. Is it, it, it's not for me, I want it a little more spicier. So I'm wondering, because I love the smell of that, I'm wondering if I take some of this and blend it with that, maybe in the same warmer, maybe in alternating warmers, um, just so that I can get a true idea of what that scent smells like, maybe in alternating warmers. But I think that would be really good, these two together. Because we're bringing in some spice. We're bringing in some fur. This is beautiful. This is really nice. This absolutely is just a... Um, someone's mulling some spiced cider. And the orange peel, you're getting all of that. And um, you're surrounded by, by trees. It's not... You're not, surround, you're not outside surrounded by trees. You're inside 
and you've got a nice breeze coming in and you can smell the fur needles, absolutely. It just has enough of a tree note to just make it very homey and cozy. So this is beautiful. I love it. Very, very nice. Um, this one for me might actually be club worthy because of, um, because of the different nuances in there. Next one is sugar plum berry. Beautiful. So sugar plum berry is spice citrus peel, evergreen berries, sugar plums, and cinnamon sticks. Also one I'm excited to smell. Ooh. Wow. That is that is strong. Holy cannoli. So I know it says evergreen berries. I feel like I'm picking up a, it's, I'm definitely picking up evergreen, you guys. It is strong on the evergreen. That spice citrus peel, very nice. This is one I think you could also melt with the orange, um, the orange tea, the tree brick. And I think that would just be really, really, really nice. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely picking up on the citrus peel. I'm definitely picking up on the evergreen berries. Sugar plums, slightly. I, slightly. And then um, finally your cinnamon sticks. It's light, you guys. This is not an overly spicy cinnamon. It is spicy because of the spice citrus peel. But it's not, a, I'm not getting an over abundance of cinnamon, in my opinion, so. And last but not least, and one I'm most excited about, oh, by the way, the frosted white pine, this is a new scent. All of these are new to me, you guys. I just signed up with Scentsy in May and really started purchasing from them in like September, October. Like that's when I really started going hog wild with Scentsy. So pretty much all of these are new to me, but this is a new scent. And then the other new scent is the Caramel Praline Cakes. This one I'm super excited for. So sweet praline, buttery vanilla, and caramel drizzle. Oh, that's nice. But I'm also a bakery girl at heart. I'm definitely picking up on butter and gooiness. The praline is there. Yeah, it's like a, it, I'm picking up on all the notes, like a butter, the butter, the vanilla, the praline. The caramel, really, really nice. So, <clears throat> case in point, let's see. Nope, that doesn't work. Woo! I like it when people blend the tree notes for me and I don't have to think about it because I would have been super upset. <laughs> this is just, yeah. That doesn't quite work. I mean, maybe if I did one cube of this and two cubes of this, um, it might work, but this is really nice. This is ooey gooey bakery. Um, I might add this to my club. Um, I might just buy some bars and, and stash it. I might buy just like five or I might just buy six bars and then put one in my quarterly club. We shall see. Um, but that's nice. It's, I mean, it, it speaks to my, to my bakery heart. Ooey, gooey, buttery, caramel, praline. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Not at all. All right, you guys. So that was 
that's what comes in the box is these five cents. Two are new, three are not. Um, and I should have looked up the price, um, the retail price. I should have looked up, looked that up. I think it's like 24 or $25 for the bundle. Um, and yeah, so that's what the scent of the season collection looks like. Once again, really cute box. Um, there's definitely something for everyone in here. You got some fruit, you got some trees, um, you got peppermint and you have bakery. So if there's someone who absolutely loves all those scents, that box is a no brainer for a Christmas gift. However, I don't, I don't know really of anyone who loves all of those. I know people who like one or two or maybe three. Um, but it still can make a really good gift because I mean, it's five bars and look how cute, look how cute this box is super cute. So, all right, you guys, that is all I have for the Scentsy. Oh, the fly. there's always one fly. You guys, when I'm in here, there's always one fly. Um, so that is all I have for the Scentsy. Scent of the Season collection. I have some more stuff coming in. Um, it hasn't even shipped yet since he's being super, super slow right now. They're backed up. So if you're waiting on stuff for Scentsy, just be patient. Um, I'm sure they are working fast and diligent and trying to get your stuff to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that you guys are having a great weekend and um, that's all I got. That's all I got. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.